But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when I have a prediction, I generally share it on YouTube. But yes, since uh, since you know, a few people want to know about uh, what's going to happen this year, I'd say. Uh, 2024 definitely is going to be the reason why these few years, I think in my keynote, I've already described it. We are at the cusp of a new, entirely new era. It's an era of 400 years in the astrological cycles, and we're just at the beginning of it. So the beginning of a new era is always tremendous. The first five or 10 years at least are very tremendous. In a 400 year cycle, the first 20 years are very tremendous. So it means a lot of things are going up and down, the global order will change, the way countries uh, you know, interact with each other is going to change, some boundaries could change, things could be going wrong, anything can go wrong. At the same time, a lot of good things also will happen during this time frame. People will become more kinder, more compassionate with those weaker than them, several people, not everybody, but a lot of people will change towards the positive. And I also believe that um, 2025 is going to be a difficult year. This is one of the forecasts that I've made. Whereas I, I do not want to make any specifically politically charged statements over here. I'd say that 2025 is difficult with the South China Sea, which I've already mentioned in my previous interviews. It was taken for a spin, that statement, and a lot of political connotations were added to it. But I just keep it blunt and simple here. If there's something uh, further that I have to say, I, I post it on YouTube. But here I'm just going to say that 2025, especially after March, and around March and after March is going to be a very tumultuous time frame, specifically for the geological situation. We could expect some sort of an earthquake to occur, which is uh, a stronger earthquake. Some people say earthquakes happen every year, and you know what's the use in predicting it. Some earthquakes are stronger than the others. Some people say you know wars happen every other time, and what so? Some wars are worse than the others. And danger happens every year, but some dangers are worse than the others, like in 2020. So, I'd say 2025 is a year we all need to be careful about, especially when it comes to global peace and security. And some things are out of our control, so we just need to pray uh, to make sure everything is fine. Again, this is a forecast, this is not a prophecy. I'm not sitting here and channelizing something from above and telling you all about it. Uh, it, is just a, it is just a forecast based on astrological cycles. The last time we had positions like 2025, uh, it was in 1968. For those of you who read the history books, uh, many of you would know what, what happened in 1968. We had the Vietnam War, uh, and we had a uh, genocide that happened. Uh, we had several natural disasters that took place. We had the Soviet Union and the, and the Cold War, which was at its height. So definitely that wasn't a great period, but uh, I wouldn't expect something as bad as that to happen, but it's a version of that which could play out next year. And uh, yeah, that's that's one of my predictions. On the positive side, as I've already mentioned, the next 20 years we'll see tremendous technological growth in different fields. Something that we haven't seen, something something very similar to the 1600s and the early uh, 20th century. Uh, the rapid social and economic progress that's going to be made is is going to be uh, you know very, very already we all know that AI is going to change the world, but the scale and the, you know the speed at which at which it is going to transform the world is going to be very unique this time. So that's, I wouldn't call it a positive prediction, but it's something of a mix, yeah.